It's a cross with a, the fish, the infinity fish, and then a purple drape to represent Jesus. It's a copy of the tattoo that I have on my back. Are you an artist by trade? I am not. I'm actually a cake baker by trade and an administrative assistant, so this is just fun. This is our first year participating. What's it like having people come up and, and, and ask you questions? Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I'm humbled because this is just our first year and, and this is just fun for us, but some of these people are absolutely brilliant artists, so it's humbling to be in their presence. And they came up with this idea, so we knew we were going to do a Via Calori block. Um, and they decided that since Via Calori is supposed to help out the Great Sock and Cancer Foundation, that they wanted something that spoke to that message. And so they've been planning and coming up with for the past couple of weeks what they wanted to do. And they decided that cancer is really scary. Monsters are really scary. And so they wanted a scene that would change throughout the day. So they started out with all of these monsters that were around and kind of surrounding these people in the center. And then what we've done is we made it interactive. So we're asking folks to uh, fill out, take one of these color pieces of paper and write down a message of hope. And then we're going to get those to the people that need it. Um, but every time we get a new message of hope, we take the color that it's on and then we add a polka dot to the picture. And so ultimately, we started with this really creepy kind of looking picture and then by the end, um, it's hard to find the scary anymore because it's just filled with polka dots that are bright different colors. Pretty much I'm a, I'm a spray paint artist. And for a local friend of mine was like, hey, we're having this event downtown. Maybe you should come by and stop and, you know, and do some of your work. Honestly, I didn't have anything planned. Just brought one of my pieces and I decided to do a rendering of it. Hopefully, I mean, apparently it's been working out. A lot of people have been showing me a lot of love. It's, it's, it's a good thing. I'm using pastels and basically I'm painting the road. What would you like about, uh, about street art? Um, I think it's really cool because you can do whatever you want. And you really get a chance to express yourself. And um, it's just really fun to come out here and do it with everybody. It is extremely, extremely, this is the hottest day I think ever that we've had it. And even being shaded like I have been most of the time, I'm going home early today. I've done enough that I can finish tomorrow. And I mean, the heat is just completely exhausting. It's already exhausting even when it's not really hot because you're getting up and down and bending over. And then when it's like 90 degrees, it just takes it out of you. I am so amazed by some of the people who don't even have any shade and are out here working so constantly and diligently. Does the chalk ever get hot? Actually, it's funny, yes. When it sits in the sun, you can pick it up and it can be too hot to hold. You have to sort of blow on it or keep it in the shade for a little bit before you pick it up. So you keep coming back and doing this every year. You must like it. I do like it. It's kind of funny. Every year, like a day or two beforehand, I start to freak out and wish I hadn't signed up. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it again. And then I get here and I love it and it's exciting and I never regret doing it after it's done. Um, I've done this three years in a row on my own and then uh, fourth year with my school. Okay. What do you like about this kind of street art? Um, I don't know. It's fun. Everyone can watch you do it. They can comment on it. People can take photos of your work walking by and then it just gets washed away. Is that fun to have people stop by? Yeah, yeah. I love when people take photos of my work. It's nice. <laughs> Is it hard to concentrate or? No, I'm used to it. Um, I'm the only AP art student at my high school and so I always have people behind my back watching me paint so I'm like, kind of used to the whole uh, doing art under pressure scene. Your, your eyes don't collect the wide angle like the, uh, uh, like the lens does. So when you're doing the 3D stuff, uh, you can see it sort of without, the, without looking through a lens, but as soon as you look through a lens, it just pops. There it is. And it has to be from the right angle as well. So how do you know how to draw this? I went online. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I went through several, and since this is the first one I've done, I figured I'd pick something simple. And simple is still complex. You've got to get all the angles right or it just doesn't work. 